We heard earlier that Newton's laws always rely on an inertial reference frame. Blah, 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 in an inertial reference frame. So now we're going to see a little bit why, because we know that if you're not in an inertial reference frame, which basically means one that's not accelerating, one that's moving at constant velocity, if you're not, then you can have fictitious forces. So these are apparent forces um, you experience in an accelerating reference frame. Frame. And of course, the most famous example of this is if you're riding in an elevator, right? So here you are in the elevator. You can't see out. You have no idea what's going on. You're sealed in a box. And you hit the button and you tell it to go up. And for a brief instant, it accelerates up briefly. And then you get near the top and it accelerates, it decelerates to slow down, right? So if we were to plot um, the y position versus time, for the elevator, it would look something like this. It would be sitting at ground level, and then there'd be a little curvature while the curve does that. Then you're going at constant velocity, and then a curvature while it does that. And you make it to your floor. We know we can take the derivative of this and get the velocity. We would know that this curved part is where there's acceleration. Oops. This is acceleration up, and this is acceleration down. And now, think to your experience. What is it that you feel? You feel a force pulling you down when this happens, right? You feel a little bit heavy here, and you feel light here. So you're feeling a fictitious force, OK? So let's say uh, the way you could treat this mathematically is in an accelerating frame. An accelerating frame uh, at, at the acceleration A frame, we'll call it that, A frame, um, Newton's laws work. I just said they don't work, but they do work if you do one thing. If uh, you add a force everything, um, F fictitious force equals minus M times the acceleration of the frame. Okay. So Newton's laws only apply to an inertial frame, non-inertial. The one way you can fix it, all you got to do is add this force. It's fictitious. Why is it fictitious? Because it's not real. It's just because you're accelerating. If I'm in the lab frame and I watch this person accelerate up, I don't need a fictitious force. I know what's happening. The uh, elevator applies a force to the person, and they go up. The normal force becomes larger than their gravitational force pulling down. They feel a net force up. I'm in an inertial frame. I need no fictitious force. They are in a fictitious, or they are in an accelerating frame, and they need it. They have the, they don't know that the elevator is pushing them up. All they know is they're standing there, and suddenly they felt a little heavy. So. This is really all you need to do these problems, is if you want to solve the problem, just do your normal Newton's laws, just add this force in here. Think of it as just another gravity force. It's just a constant force that applies to every mass in the frame. These will come up again when we get into rotating frames. The same idea applies in a rotating frame uh, in part two.